To update your MIDI Baby using a Mac system, please visit our website, DisasterAreaDesigns.com, and click on Support in the top bar. Here you'll find our Files page, which has important information including the updater tool that you'll need, as well as the current firmware. On a Mac system, you will need this updater app entitled Disaster G3 Uploader. Save the link to your downloads folder. Scroll down until you see MIDI Baby and download its firmware as well. And extract both of the archives. Next, you'll need to connect your MIDI Baby to your Mac using the supplied USB cable. Hold the foot switch on the MIDI Baby while plugging in the USB cable. When the MIDI Baby powers on, you should see a new disk called Disaster on the desktop of your Mac. Open the Disaster G3 Uploader app by right clicking on it and selecting Open. You may be presented with a warning telling you that the app is from an unidentified developer. Select Open. The app will pop up a window asking you to please connect your device to a USB port while holding the bootloader entry button. Select OK. Now select the location of your Disaster G3. So select the drive called Disaster. Finally, the app will ask you to choose the location of your firmware bin file. Go to your downloads folder, find the bin file that we just downloaded, and drag it into this window. Select Choose. The uploader will pop up a window saying Upload Finished. Please wait until Disaster G3 Disk Ejects. When you see the disk eject, you're OK to unplug it. To update your MIDI Baby using a Windows system, please visit our website, DisasterAreaDesigns.com, and click on Support in the top bar. Here you'll find Support and Files, including our firmware update procedure, and firmware for all of our current products. Scroll down to MIDI Baby and click on the link under Firmware. Once the file is downloaded, show in folder and then select Extract All. The next thing you'll need to do is plug your MIDI Baby into your computer using the supplied USB cable. Hold down the foot switch before plugging in the cable. Once the MIDI Baby powers on, you should see a new disk available under this PC in your sidebar. Select Open a New Window. And then go into the disaster drive and delete the file that you find there, titled flash.bin. Go to the location where you downloaded the MIDI Baby bin file and extracted it, and rename this to flash.bin. Please note that the file name is case sensitive, so it should be in all caps. Once you've renamed the file, drag and drop the file from the MIDI Baby location to the disaster drive. Then, eject the disaster drive. Once you've updated your MIDI Baby, go back to our website and select MIDI Baby Editor. Then plug the MIDI Baby into your computer using the supplied USB cable. Make sure that you've selected the MIDI interface and then select Read Device. Check the firmware version at the bottom of the globals and make sure that it matches the version that you just installed. If it didn't, please try again. If you can't get it to update in this manner, please contact us. We'll be happy to help. We're shooting more MIDI Baby videos all the time. If there's a specific question you have regarding the MIDI Baby or you'd like to see us cover a specific device or application, please let us know in the comments. 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe to be notified when more MIDI Baby videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.